the former prime minister of this country, Brian Mulroney, on the phone with me this morning. Mr. Mulroney, good morning to you. Good morning, Heather. It's a pleasure to have you on the show, although it's a, a sad day, of course, particularly for Quebecers and Quebec hockey fans, and I know you're both. Can you uh, share some of your remembrances of watching the great Jean Beliveau play? Well, he was the greatest. Uh, he was a gentleman, uh, and a, a wonderful hockey player. But most of all, I think he was a model as well for all young Canadians. And he was terrific. I, I went to see him um, a couple of weeks ago in his home in his bedroom and we spent an hour an hour and a half together just talking and reminiscing about a 40-year friendship that we had um, i was one of his greatest admirers and uh and uh, listened as he told me again about things in his life and the challenges that he had to meet and and the difficulties that young hockey players in those days encountered compared with today uh moments that we shared uh, I, one day, um, when I was in office, thought that I couldn't do better in terms of Senate appointments to the Senate of uh, somebody as an independent senator, somebody like Jean Beliveau, and I spoke to him and offered him uh, to become a member of the Senate of Canada. He thought about it and turned it down because his uh, he had one daughter and uh, two granddaughters and his wife, and uh, his son-in-law had died and passed away. And he felt that he had to stay there and look after the grandkids, which he did so well. So he was a noble, wonderful uh, figure in, in Quebec and in Canada. And I was uh, truly honored and privileged to know him as, as I did. Isn't that wonderful, the, the personal comments? The measure of the man that you wanted to make him a senator and an even greater of a measure of the man, the reasons for which he turned that down. If we come back, there's a picture of me. You might not be able to see it. I'm in the studio, and there you are, sir, right in the middle. You have Mr. Beliveau on one side. You have Rocket Richard on the other. And you in the, mo in, in the center, really surrounded by two great men, but in, in different ways. That's the Order of Canada, I believe. That's right. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, I, I've said on other occasions, Heather, that, that while my father, my late father, Ben from Bay Como, who was the greatest Montreal Canadiens fan you've ever seen, <laughs> that while he would have been delighted at my election as prime minister, he'd have been a hell of a lot prouder to see me that night walking <laughs> down the aisle with the rocket on my left and Jean Bellifaux on my right. <laughs> These were... This was a, a, a great, great moment in my life and would have been the best in his. So, no, these were great people. And uh, as I say, uh, Beliveau was, it was really a, a privilege to, to know him. And as I indicated to you, uh, seeing him for the last time a few weeks ago brought back a flood of memories, and all of them good, because anyone who associated with Jean Beliveau uh, never had a bad moment. And I thank you for sharing those memories with us and our program this morning, Mr. Mulroney. A pleasure to have you as part of our coverage. Happy Brian, to do it, Heather. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye.